Good day. Today we're going to build a satellite dish. Sweet. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's get uh, let's get a blender open. Okay, so uh, just like our last project where we're building a flower, and if you notice, uh, if you look closely, your flower kind of looked like a satellite dish. So in this case, we're going to go with that. Uh, we're just going to add some special things. So let's go ahead. Let's add. Uh, uh, circle again, okay? So we got that circle thing and again, just as with the flower, we're going to want a sort of a narrower base than our eventual uh, satellite dish. So, let's go ahead then, <clears throat> let's uh, tab into edit mode, okay? So let's go to edit mode, okay? So we just went into edit mode and again, let's just, I'm just going to zoom in here a little bit and let's go ahead and let's scale this down. So we're going to press the S key, we're going to scale that down right about y'all. Okay? So now uh, we're going to go ahead and extrude. So let's go ahead, press our E key, extrude. Now, again, to lock it along the Z axis, so it's just going up and down, we're going to press the Z key just once. I'm not holding it in. And now you see that it is stuck along that Z axis. So let's eh, put it right about there. And. In this case, again, I want a sort of a solid pedestal uh, for the uh, for the satellite dish. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to press my E key and then my S key because I'm going to uh, I'm going to extrude and then I'm going to scale inwards. So you see how I did it like that? Excellent, good stuff. Let's go ahead then. Okay, so right now we should have just a sort of a solid sort of cylinder like that, or at least. Uh, a cylinder that uh, it might actually probably is hollow because <laughs> we did a circle. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead then. So we should have a solid base like that. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay. Now we're gonna extrude. I wanna see how we got like I'm gonna lock that against uh, on the Z axis. So I'm gonna press my Z key. Put it out kind of far. And now let's scale that out. You can see it's, there we go. So I'm just, as, if you notice my cursor, how once I get all the way to the left screen, the left part of the screen, see how it comes out on the other side. So that means that's how I can continue to scale, even though I've run out of screen space, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take that back a little bit more. There we go, so now it's more, uh, <laughs> There we go. So this is pretty close to what we had been doing with the flower. So let's go ahead though, I want to add sort of two more parts to it. I'm going to go ahead and just like our flower, I'm going to extrude, lock along the Z, just take it out a little bit, and then scale that out. And then I'm going to just put one more. Extrude, lock it along the Z axis, Scale that out. Okay. So there we go. That's sort of a, a, a decent satellite dish. Now, the satellite dish I'm going to have you uh, sort of uh, model yours on. Uh, I'll have a picture uh, that you can look at. But the main thing is there's sort of like uh, four sort of uh, beams in the middle here. Now, this can be tricky. Okay. We're going to add. Uh, some uh, sort of cubes here, so we want like, and we want them all to line up. Okay, so let's add uh, a cube. Okay, let's add a cube. Oh, excuse me. Undo. I want to go to object mode. Okay, so there we go. So that's what our uh, our sort of satellite looks like right now. We're in object mode. Make sure you add the other objects when you're in object mode. Because if you add them in edit mode, then it will be linked to our, our main satellite dish sort of uh, array. Okay, so let's go ahead then. Let's add uh, a cube. There we go. And in this case, I'm just going to shrink it down. So I'm going to scale it down. In this case, I'm not even going to go in edit mode. I'm just going to go to our scale tool. Okay. And I want sort of a pretty skinny fella here. Little bit skinnier. Let's see here. Uh, 
little bit more, a little bit more. Okay. Now I'm not sure how tall this needs to be, so I'm just going to leave it like that for now. So okay, so that seems to be the like a good size. I'm actually going to just shrink that a little bit more. That's what we want. Okay, I like that. I like that. Okay. So, I'm going to just move it a little bit and move it down. Now let's just I'm going to rotate it now. So, I'm going to go ahead to my rotate manipulator. And let's just see here a second. Let's I just wanted to Okay, cool. This is actually looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to move it inwards and down. Let's see what that looks like. It's looking pretty good. Now we're going to want four of these. Just sort of like, and that's actually just about perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want it to be where one, two, three, four, all meeting kind of in the center. So actually, a little bit over. There we go. It's hard to tell with this perspective. but Okay, so I'm going to try with that. I'm going to duplicate that now. So let's put, you know, like one over there and one over here, just for safekeeping. We're going to work with them later. And then like one over there. So let's go ahead then. Let's go to our rotate tool. And let's just see what we can do, okay? It's going to be a combination of just moving them and rotating them, okay? Just so we're going to do our best to try to make it so that they meet. Okay, it, this is not an exact science, so it's going to be a little frustrating. Actually, a lot of frustration uh, trying to get this, and that's okay. That really is okay. So just do your best with this. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to play, play around with these, so we can try to get them. Nice. Okay. So let's see here a second. Hey, hey, now we're getting pretty close. So let's go ahead then, let's rotate that fella. Let's see what we got. That is not too bad for the first try. Okay, so as you can see, there's like some minor adjustments we have to make, but for the most part, this is basically what we're looking for. We're just looking for uh, sort of a, a, as much as possible them meeting each other. So let's go ahead and what we can do is we can use our, our friend the extrude tool in edit mode just to get the like the final adjustments just so that they're okay. But I want to try to get it as close as possible for now. Okay. Let's just fix that one up a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tab into edit mode. Okay, and in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, select that face, that end. And now I'm going to extrude. Eh, let's see, do I want to extrude that? Now I want to extrude the other one. That one, I think. Now I want to do that one. Let's extrude the face on that one. So let's go to edit mode, just select that one face, and let's try to extrude that. Okay. Okay. Alright, I can I can live with that. Now let's go to our other cube. Hmm, I'm okay with that one. Let's extrude this fella just a little bit. So let's just select his face. Extrude. And you know, again, this is not an exact science. This is just having fun. So let's now get this final one. Let's ex just get its face. Let's extrude it. And when this renders, I think that's going to look pretty nice. Okay, so that's our satellite. Now, what we're going to do, uh, the final step is going to be to set some different materials. So let's go ahead and uh, we want to be playing around with uh, setting the materials so it's sort of metallic. Okay. Now to do that, uh, we're going to go to our materials, and what we're going to do is this. Okay, so to set it sort of a metallic color, what we're going to have to do is, uh, we're going to first of all have to set a material and then set a texture. Okay, so let's go ahead to, uh, let's select, 
Actually, uh, we can do one at a time, or we're going to make everything metal. So you could just press an, your A key on your computer to select everything. That would work. Um, or let's just do one at a time, just so we can, you know, have some fun with it. So let's just select that main base, as well as like the sort of, uh, you know, the actual satellite dish part of it, okay? And then what we'll do is, um, we're going to go ahead here to, not the cube, but the circle over here, that's material. Okay, so we're going to add, I'll click on new, it's going to add a new material. Now, the color is pretty good, that white, that's pretty good. I'm going to just sort of move it over just a little bit toward the blue. Just a little bit, okay, not too, too much. And that's going to sort of just give it a little bluish, bluish hue. Now, same thing, we're going to go to our texture. We're going to go to new. And we're going to keep it on clouds, okay. I'm going to keep it on clouds. Uh, we will click on, um, let's see, color though, or excuse me, grayscale. And then um, what we have to do though is we have to scroll to the bottom and where it says, it has here, this color here. I'm going to set it to just, again, just sort of a, a whitish color or whitish grayish color, okay. So there we go. So now we've got that main base done. Let's go ahead here to our... Um, uh, to our different beams. I'm going to set that as the same texture and uh, sort of material I'd use with my other ones. So these bars here, let's go to them. Um, uh, and we don't want to make a new one. We want to use the same material. So where it says, if we click on the little ball here, we can see here we've got material, material one, material two. Let's see uh, which one is uh, the one we wanted. That looks good. Okay. Let's go ahead and then to make sure the textures, yes, and the textures the same. Excellent. So go ahead then and just use the material that you had set for your other stuff, okay, for your, for your base. So I'm going to go ahead then to all my other sort of beams. There we go. And I want to get like, I, I tried to render before like sort of a top view, and I mean it's okay, but I want to get the idea that you know that there is a base. So as you can see, there were some mistakes with my bar. So let's find a good view where we don't have one sticking out. Let's actually let's see right about here. Let's see what we got with that. Let's go to um, view, align view, and then align uh, active camera to view. Okay, align active camera to view. So there we go. You can see that's kind of close. That's all right. Let's right click on the on our camera, press our G key so we can grab it and move it. Okay, that's good stuff. Uh, now when we render it, I'm not sure how that lighting source is going to come out. Um, let's render it. We might have to move it again. Yeah, let's move the lighting source to our side, to the camera side. So let's go ahead to 3D view. Um, and now let's go back. We're going to move our light source on this side of the camera. So let's see what that looks like. That's a lot better. That's kind of cool actually. So that's how you make a simple satellite dish. I wish you the best of luck with your work. Good stuff.